Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanna do a full review of uh, V75. Then uh, I'll give you guys also some tip that you need to look at in the market before you get your entry. If you guys remember on my last video, there was uh, a video that I made. I was, I was expecting market to come back I was expecting market to, to take out this level of liquidity. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you go watch it so that you can be able to see what I was saying. Then uh, I did say also another thing, let me just make it better. So this was the level that I was expecting market to come and run all the liquidity. You see, so because we are this high, market come to the downside after grabbing liquidity from down here, then market push to the upside. So market never returned back to this zone. Then I was expecting market to come back to this area because it was a, a proper zone for me, which has confidence. So I was expecting market to come back so that we can do it. We can take a buy position from here. And I also said, I, was, I wanted market to run this high. This is what I wanted, market to run this eye here, the one we created. But one thing happened, market failed to run the eye, respect this area. After the break of this low, then here we have the, the low resistance liquidity run. The market come to the downside, break this area. And on this zone here, if you check properly, we had the inefficiency, the one that was resting here. The market return to that inefficiency, then we buy to the upside. So we could get a confirmation uh, because market didn't run as we expected, but we could get a confirmation. We could get the confirmation of us taking what we call uh, a sell position. Then from here, what are you gonna do? Like if you wanted to take a sell position from there, what you're supposed to do, remember this is the area where market fell, then you want to see where market has to run a low, close this one. You wanna see where market has uh, to run a certain low, check the way market was compressing, going to the upside from this area. Then you can say we break this last point, we break again this area, market return to the upside. We have this decision candlestick, the last sell, uh, the last buy before they sell, Market okay, return there, trade inside and drop. Here again, we are the break of structure. We return inside this candlestick, as you can check from here. Then we can check another sell from here. After market drop, check all the way down to this area. Then market push again back to the upside. So you could see this was M5, sorry, M15, then we can go to M, let's say we can go to H1 to get the confirmation of us taking an entry from here. Uh, let me go to M30. You see on M30, we have what we call the HB, the hidden base, the one that is here. Market return, we could use that one or that we could use the inefficiency, you know. We have the inefficiency, but um, market didn't get there properly but the only one that you could use more is supposed to be this hidden base. You see the hidden base. Remember each time frame got its own market structure. After we break this area, market return inside the HB, then we are going to the downside. The first target, we target this area. Then after market break again this area, check we return again inside here because we have the drop, market create the base, Market return for the first time. This is what we call a first time back. Then market drop. Again, we break this area. Market return again. We have this candlestick, the reclaim candlestick, then market trade inside. Or either we could use this inefficiency, the one that is there, to take our entry position to come to the downside. Then you see every time we, we break the law, markets return to get this area. So I'm not here for that today. Uh, I just, I'm just here with another story. So uh, another thing that I'm, I wanna show you guys, 
check the way they create this uh, level here, you see, and down here, here they fake out that level because they wanted to mitigate, uh, draw with this one, they wanted to mitigate their zone. You see this last candlestick because even here we have the, the, uh, the drop, market create a base, then market return inside there so that we can go to the downside. So simple and straight. But the things I wanted to show you guys today is on H4. That is what you need us, I need us to discuss about it and I'll show you guys. So if you check again on H4, because I was showing you on the low time frame, on H4 also, when we break this low, we break again this area. Remember here we have the inefficiency, then markets make sure to trade all the way to the upside because of this inefficiency. But if you check, this inefficiency is aligned with uh, this reclaim block, then market trades inside there, then we drop more to the downside. So if you don't know about this candle, see, you don't know about this Fibonacci, uh, that level, you could even use your Fib. So it's either you can use this higher point, the one that is there, to target where market is start reversing, like where market is start the pullback, we have this pull back up until this level. If we can check, this area is uh, 70.5. This one is 70.9. Check market just trade straight inside heat because we have the confluence where we have the inefficiency. And uh, 7.0, there was no match that could, uh, could hold the price, but 70.9, uh, 7.9, sorry. We had a proper confirmation there that market supposed to do what to, to take an entry. But there was a two levels that I was expecting market to sell from. There was a, this one, I was expecting market to sell from here. Or if market could go more to the upside, the only level that's supposed to hold the price was this one. That is the level I was also expecting to hold the price. Then market drop. So if you can check here properly, we had this eye. Market run that eye, mitigate the area, check the way we drop, we break the level impulsively. We have this last candlestick, the breaker that run this liquidity, then market come all the way down. See this candlestick trade inside this one, even the new one that's open trade also inside that candlestick. But what happened after that? We have this low, check what happened. Here we break the level. Market trades fail to take out this level of liquidity. Then we create a weekly liquidity pool when markets push to the upside. Remember, market is giving us lower high, lower low, lower high. Then this low, lower high fail to give us a lower low. Then this one give us a lower low, market pull to the upside, create another what we call a lower, lower, lower high. We have a lower high. Then from here, remember this is lower high that give us the lower low. So when we are buying, going to the upside, you wanna see how market is going to react on this level. Since market failed to break this area, so we see already that we are continuing going to the downside. Then market get on this decision point, the one we already identified. I was expecting market to start buying from this inefficiency. Then later on, I saw this block, then I marked this block. So I'm gonna show you guys also the example like this analysis I made. Then market gets on this area, then we start buying from here going to the upside. But check this mitigation, the first mitigation that was happening here. You see this last candlestick here. Then market trade, market trades inside hit, test that level with this fake move because we mitigate this area because people here they're expecting to buy because we have this candlestick. But one thing that we forgot is that there is a level of liquidity that's resting below here that market has to come and run. Then this is what happened. Market get there, run this liquidity. After we run the liquidity, check the reaction. Check the way market is buying right now. You see how market is buying. Now let me go to H1 so that I can show you something on H1 on that area. So on H1, then what I saw was this inefficiency, the one that is here, that has to hold the price. So I'm expecting market to do what? To hold the price from this inefficiency so that we can do that. We can continue again more, uh, more to the downside. 
And then uh, what happened from there? Markets get on that inefficiency. They fake out small. Let me go to M30. Let me go to M30. Do you see this candlestick? We have this candlestick plus the break of structure that happened here. We have this break of structure. But if you check, if you know how to trade, this is going to be your level because we have this mitigation block. So from this mitigation block, I can take my trade here and put my stop loss here. Depend on what size is my account. You see, so I don't see market break this area. If market can break this area going to the upside, then I'll know, okay, this level, this mitigation block wouldn't hold. Then market return. If you want precision more, we have inefficiency again this side. Then we have the inefficiency on, H, on uh, H1 that is here, plus this candlestick, the one that is there, the one that helped us to break this level. This could be a perfect entry to take an entry. Then we're going to target this low point. Already here, market has already given us one of the partner. We always look before we take a trade. Then we target again the low. Uh, so this is the way I see and I saw this market the way it is all reacting. Now, let me show you some pictures before I show you another example. Do you see? This was the analysis I made. And the state market has to come from this area so that we can go to the upside. Then another thing that you guys must pay attention to is um, there is an area where we call Wednesday entry. So if you can check most of the entries that we have and most of the entries that market is giving us powerful, they always happen on Wednesday. So let me show you guys this area. So if we can check here, we had on the 20, we had the, an entry that happened on Wednesday, market drop, return again here. I think this was Friday, market current market drop again. So Wednesday, Friday, I see there is this huge movement. Then we pull back again, check what happened again here on Wednesday. We had all this drop. I think this one also is Friday. Then we had the continuation market pull back again, check again Wednesday. We had this confirmation to come and grab liquidity here. Why most of the people, they're failing to take a trade, let's say they're hitting stop loss on these things. Because most of the retail traders, they know this is a support, a strong support. Market has to come on this strong support, then we're gonna buy. But they forgot that this support is a liquidity area because all people that have been buying from here, they have their stop loss on down here. So market has to come and grab all liquidity for them to continue with an, a movement. Then for us right now, to get a proper confirmation of saying we are buying very huge. So we need to do something like this. We have to go to H4, we have to go to H4. Then H4 is gonna tell us what is going to happen because this is the level when I see on H4 market, take it out. When market uh, take this level out here, then I will know that market is gonna do it, is gonna continue with the same movement. So if markets hold again this area and come again down, remember, because we had again this level here, you see, we have again this level, where we have liquidity, we have this level, all this is liquidity that they have to target. So we wanna see what is going to happen. And at the same time, we have again this area here, we have this level, market never mitigate this area. Can you see this area here? This could be a nice target for the market to come to the downside. And if you check properly on this area, what you see, for those on a trading supply and demand, this is a drop. We have a base. We have a base to show you guys this zone had more confluence. Then market is doing what? We're expecting market to play, then come all the way from this area. This is what I'm expecting. But let me show you guys something also. So if we find a zone like that, that base, when I try to understand which area we need to start looking for a sell position, then we need to target the low. What is the low point? The low point is here. As you can check, this level is on top of the 50%. And from this area, we don't have any PDRA that we need to look at beside this one. This is the, the strongest one I can see so far from here. 
because this inefficiency, they've already, they've already tried inside heat. Then the next level that remains for me is this level. I wanna see market retrace again a bit. If it want to go to the upside, it has to retrace inside this inefficiency, the one we have here. You see, so this is what I'm going to expect. So sharp guys, I hope you're gonna watch this video and you need to practice for you to be able to catch all the movement and next time to not miss the trade and next time to not sell and to not buy on the support saying this is a significant support. No, don't do that to yourself or to your account. So sharp guys, see you next time.